say ah you've heard that huh well this revolutionary new technique is now available and it's allowing patients with tonsillitis and sinus problems to get relief quickly it's called coblation and the key is that it's minimally invasive our next guest specializes in this new technique. Dr. Muthan Kandula is with the Advanced Ear, Nose, and Throat Specialist. And good morning to you. Good Thanks morning. for being here. Thank you. So, you know, a, a lot of people out there are going to be in touch with this problem. Not only kids, but actually my adult neighbor recently had a tonsillectomy. Mm -hmm. And what else goes with a tonsillectomy? Uh, adenoidectomy Adenoids. sometimes. Yep. Um, and so what is coblation? What's so, what, why is it such a great new technology? Well, it's, it's literally what it sounds like. Co coblation stands for cold ablation. And the difference between this technology and older technologies is that it doesn't create a lot of heat. So, and that's that's really the, the, the short and long of it right there. So older technology like cautery or lasers even create about 400 degrees of, cel degrees of Celsius heat, whereas this creates about 40 degrees, which is a big, big difference. So what we're able to do is we're able to do what we need to do without creating collateral damage and, and without burning healthy tissue that doesn't need to be damaged. And is this why the recovery rate is so much better? Because you're not damaging other things that aren't necessarily being taken out or extracted. Exactly, exactly. You're not creating, with, with other technology, older technology, you create a deep burn there, mm -hmm. which so your body has to heal up not only from the, the actual surgery, but from the burn of that surgery, which, okay. which really doubles the, the healing process. Can it be used for a variety of conditions or is it very specific? It can be used for a variety of conditions. So with what I do, you know, even in the head and neck area, which is what I focus on, it can be used for a lot of things. Tonsil surgery, sleep apnea surgery, um, surgery and procedures to help to, to increase people's uh, breathing through the nose, things like that, that, that's really made a big difference. Okay. And, uh, oh, go okay. ahead. No, I was just going to say, is it something that can be used on children then as well? Oh, absolutely. That, that's actually probably where it's made the biggest difference as far as kids who need their tonsils and their adenoids out. The difference, difference between coblation and, like I said, cautery or lasers, other things like that, is, is made a vast difference. It's mm -hmm. really uh, about half the healing time and half the amount of discomfort that you go through when you have those sorts of surgeries. Well, and speaking of that discomfort. It used to be when I was a kid, there was this myth out there that, oh, if you get your tonsils out, you go home, you eat a lot of ice cream, and it's really fun. But but I've heard the truth of that is, and probably because of the burning you mentioned, the, the recovery is can take quite a while, and it is quite uncomfortable, painful for yeah, patients. Yeah, it can. And that's one of the, as far as surgeries that I do, tonsil surgery and surgery on the palate, which is the back of the throat, tends to be the most uh, annoying as far as the recovery process. So it's not fun. And, and even with the coblation, it's still not fun. It's not something you want to go out and do every day, but I can tell you, um, just seeing patients going through the process the old way and the new way, it makes a vast difference. And knowing that, you know, that's that's one of the reasons we want to get the word out is that there's there are other things to consider um, if you have some of these issues. Is it something that um, when you're going to, to do it, uh, is it something that you should have more than one opinion on? Well, but I guess what it, I, the pr procedure is pretty common throughout. It's pr it's it's not. It's about forty percent of uh, ENT surgeons are using this to take tonsils out nowadays, which is actually pretty high considering it's relatively new. But what I would say is, however, if you if you see you know a surgeon who's who's talking about surgery, uh, you ought to be comfortable with the the fact that you're getting you know all of your options. And if you're not hearing about all the options, then yeah, it might it might be time to get another opinion. Let's walk through the procedure a little bit, and you brought some illustrations to kind of help explain. So let's start here with this coblation device. Yeah, what this is showing us is really literally on the left-hand side of the screen is the coblation device, and on the right-hand side of the, the screen is the older device. And what this is showing you with coblation, what we're doing is usually basically going through a natural saline medium, so just salt water dripping through, which, which allows us not to create heat. On the right side is the older way, which literally what it has to do is ha it has to uh, conduct through your body, and that creates a burn. You can see why. There's yeah. a huge difference and, there. Mm -hmm. And you can see even in surgery, I, Literally, you see this. I mean, the, the mm. difference between this technology and the older technology is night and day. And then the next one here, what is this showing this us? Show, and this, I know this is a little hard to, to, to grasp, but where that little black uh, wand is, that's a coblation device. And what it's showing us, this is a tonsillectomy procedure. So the, thing, the, the, the uh, little uh, ball of tissue that's being grasped is the tonsil, and the coblation device divides the plane between where the tonsil is and the side of the throat and doesn't burn that area. 
Okay, and next, um, this one shows, this is that <laughs> wand that you yeah, described. This okay. is the, and this is one of those areas that I talk about and sometimes people uh, don't quite know what I'm talking about. There's, there's, there are things in the nose called turbinates, which are little, humi little humidifiers in the nose. Those are the guys when you have a cold and you feel like you're stuffed up and you can't breathe through your nose, those yeah. are the guys that are swelling up. Mm -hmm. With this wand, what we're able to do is shrink that tissue down permanently and let you breathe through your nose uh, on a consistent basis so you're not feeling stuffy. You have a series of free community education programs. They're coming up over the next couple of months. We want to make sure we tell people about that so that they can find out more about coblation and the benefits of it and all of this recovery um, information and the improvements. Sure, yeah, the first talk is actually next Tuesday and we're, we're focusing on coblation. Uh, it's at Maggiano's Little Italy at Mayfair Mall and this is the first in the series. So after that we're going to have a uh, talk about uh, one every month uh, on topics such as coblation, sinuplasty, hearing loss, things like that. And you had a child who had a tonsillectomy so that I would did. probably be something you'd be interested in. I did in. and I think that the question a lot of people have is, is it something that really is going to improve my my life? And it certainly did in our case. And mm -hmm. so I know a lot of children go through that, you know, early on. But I think that's probably one of the questions you'll answer at your seminar. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. yeah. And so we'll put up the information on how people can get a hold of you. I hope you can take advantage of that those free events that are going on um, close to us. And here's the information for Advent Advanced Ear, Nose, and Throat Specialists. They're located um, on Mayfair Road in Wauwatosa. The phone number is there for you as well as a um, web address, advent.md. It's always a pleasure to talk to you and I think this is a good one, especially for all those parents out there struggling with lots of ear infections, mm -hmm. lots of sore throats. So thanks for being here. Thank you. Well, still ahead, therapy from, over here, here we are. <laughs> therapy from a